Welcome to Being the Genuine Athlete podcast, where we inspire those who aim for excellence in life and want to understand the how and what it takes to be a champion in life. My name is Jura Koschak. My purpose, dedication and commitment is to activate your potential, that you understand the ego through your sport and life situations. So I share and give you the tools to be just this, the genuine athlete. Are you ready to tune in? Hello, dear athletes, genuine athlete. I am very happy that you are listening, watching this episode about dopamine. Dopamine, the hormone of something, you maybe heard about it. It's a freaking addiction. Sometimes it's a shit show because we are so deeply lost in this dopamine cycle that I am more than excited, more than thrilled, more than ecstatic that you're listening to or watching to this podcast about this issue because you are addicted as well. You think you're not, but dopamine is the drug. This is it because it's so easily accessible, not from the outside, but from the inside. We have the outside stimulants, We'll go through all the details. I'll frame you about what is dopamine, what's the problem, what's the itch, how to solve it, how to understand it, how to cope with it, and finally break through and live. We will still all be addicted to dopamine, but there's a natural dopamine level that's okay. And then there's the unnatural spike that we're just falling into and 2020 has showed it. Uh, the whole world was on a dopamine fix. That's why it was happening and still is happening what is. We all need to really realign, readjust, and understand who we are as a human being, as species, as athletes, to be naturally connected, naturally healthy. So thank you very much for listening. Let's go. What is dopamine? Dopamine is a hormone of satisfaction of completing a task. This gives a dopamine hit. Of course, a little one. But my body says, mm, I've thirst, my, I've uh, fulfilled the thirst of myself. I've drank some water. Basic. Inhaling dopamine. But we have natural and unnatural high spikes. Natural spikes, unnatural. We'll go into it. Dopamine plays an important role in controlling motor behavior. The emotional reward and behavior motivation mechanisms. This is a Dr. Veronica Poloshkova. You can find all about this on Google, on YouTube, in books, in medicine, where is dopamine emitted? We'll not go into those details because as an athlete, you want to understand, implement, and that it will give you a benefit and usefulness, not all the science all around it. If you want the science, go check it. But here we will talk about that you finally realize why you feel bad. Why is it that you feel lost sometimes? Why is it that you feel empty? Although you're doing everything, you're training, you're living, living a double life sometimes, and then you're not being fulfilled, you're not being satisfied. Why is it, why is that so? Why are you feeling like that, lost in that sense? Here's the answer. The problem is with the parking spots, receptor sites, okay, in the brain body. So if you watch Netflix, if you surf online, if you shop for something, and I'll give you other specific uh, things that you do that are very normal, not so specifics, specific, but once you do this outside stimulants, your brain is stimulated and emits a high amount, high dosage of dopamine hormone, like satisfactory, because you're satisfied, you're fulfilled, you get that vibe, you're like, wow, this is it. The problem is when a lot of dopamine is emitted, excreted, a lot of dopamine hits your brain. Then your brain, your body needs to do something with it, needs to organize and structuralize. So your body produces 
creates receptor sites. Metaphorically speaking, parking spots. So a lot of cars, dopamine is emitted, a lot of parking spots need to be created. Here's the problem. Once you fill these parking spots with dopamine, you're balanced. Body, body is always searching for internal balance with the outside or the inside world happen. The next thing is when these parking spots, receptor sites, of course, the dopamine level falls down after a while, you fall, you know, it's normal, it, it's used, it's somehow scientifically used in our body. Then these parking spots, receptor sites are empty. And they say, give it to me, give me the rush, give me the fix, give it to me. Do you see why I call it addiction? Because it's the same with cheese, chocolate, drugs, soft drugs, hard drugs, whatever, doping, whatever you name it. It's the same thing as the receptor sites in our body that need to balance the amount of the dosage, whatever the stimulant, inside, outside. This is the inside drug. That's why it's hidden. So doing a specific thing, a normal thing, we'll go into that, there's a dopamine release. Your brain remembers worthy dopamine releases and the things that triggered it good training, good match, good point, good movement. It's a dopamine release. Your body remembers it. The goal is comfort of the body, safety and to conserve energy. One more time and I'll explain it. The body goal is comfort, safety and to conserve energy to survive. So our body is very basically inclined towards observing where do we get safety, comfort, survival, and where can we conserve energy? Where we do not need to do a lot to get a lot. Where can we simplify and automate some movements in order to be safe, comfort, and survive? Brain wants easy, super high spikes of dopamine release. It's a vicious cycle. The more receptor parking side spots you have, the more dopamine you demand. And then it becomes automated and addiction inflict. Do you see the vicious loop? Do you see what you, when you do something, we'll clarify regarding the natural dopamine spikes, or the unnatural dopamine spikes connected with stimulants. Do you see how sometimes you're touching your cell phone without understanding, opening the fridge without knowing, going somewhere just to get that spike, that rush, that fix? Here's the problem. What is normal now? That's normal now to be on the screen. Screen time is 10 hours per day, five hours per day. You know what, how much time is that? That's two months in a year. Two months in a year we spend on a screen. Two months per year. If you're five hours per day on screen, on Facebook, social media, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, that's two months of your year. And that's normal. 10 years ago, these things didn't exist. 15 years ago, we had no screens. We had a small one line. 15, 20 years ago, there was a cell phone that was a one line. Only, only texts were there, no images. Then the multimedia message came out. And then we had screens and social media, apps. Apps, Instagram wasn't existing 10 years ago. Not to mention 15 years ago. TikTok, not five years ago even less 10,000 or 1,000 or 100 years ago. Check your screen time. Screens are existing in the last 10 years, as said, and some apps for only five years. So completely, we are completely disconnected what is actually normal and healthy. Applications, notifications, luxury that wasn't existing, sugar, too much of sugar, Coffee is a stimulant, we'll talk about that. Browsing, online browsing, shopping, Netflix, YouTube, carbs, carbohydrates, food, 
fridge pornography, the worst kind, dopamine stimulant, the worst unnatural, video games, winning as an athlete, you just want to win, emotional drama dysregulation, this is also a big pattern. If you are emotionally not balanced, what is dysregulation? Dysregulation, also known as emotional dysregulation, refers to a poor ability to manage emotional responses or to keep them within an acceptable range of typical emotional reaction. This can refer to a wide range of emotions, including sadness, anger, irritability, frustration, being a drama queen, being a drama outbursts, being emotional, guilty trips, whatever. So you have this regulation, too much of it, you are addicted, you want to have the outburst, you are just looking for a small situation in order to have a completely crazy emotional outburst in order to have that dopamine fix. You are addicted being a victim. That's why psychiatrists heal some of these things with medicine that balances out the serotonin and other hormones and dopamine hormones levels because you want to be sad in order to have the dopamine hit. Do you understand that? So all this unnatural, because this is all unnatural, apps, notifications, coffee is also unnatural if you drink it. All these unnatural dopamine spikes create a lot of receptors that need to be replenished over and over again. That is where addiction comes from. You have a lot of parking spots, you need to replenish, re refill them. In never ending search of internal balance, you need to fill this high demand, high unbalance, unnatural unbalance of this balance of parking spots, you go deeper down the rabbit hole. You always fall down in this loop of overstimulation. So you watch a Netflix show, you know it's next, next episode, three seconds. Why? Because you're hooked. You're on the loop. You want more. You, you end the series, you want to watch new episodes, new series, new movie, new thing, new shopping, new browsing, new, 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 new. And this is ongoing, never-ending loop. Please take a deep inhale with your nose, with your belly, with your whole being. Let's continue. Because there's nothing wrong with dopamine. It's just something that's not normal became normal. But dopamine, nothing's wrong with dopamine. Our bodies are just not designed to cope and handle these unnatural spikes high dopamine spikes. Our bodies are not designed for that. That's the only issue. Because the dopamine high spikes, this, this loop, you are always searching for the easy source to get big, quick fix to fill your high amount of empty receptor sites. Because you have a lot of receptor sites, a lot of parking spots, you always look for high, quick fix, rapid, quick, high, unnatural fix. That's the vicious loop. And in this way, you are actually creating the chemical imbalance that even more holds you in this loop, vicious cycle. You have more sadness, more frustration, emotional dysregulation. You have more stress. You want to repair something in the not right way. Because you know what is supposed to be right, but doing something what is natural, normal, and the right amount of dopamine it's not enough. It's not a high dosage. So you are under pressure. You lack clarity. You do not progress. You avoid certain projected outcome or you just purely stay looped in the habit and this addiction. You're just addicted. I can confess I'm an addict. I'm an addict. Without any shame, I, 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 I uh, admit it. So but how to come out of this addiction? How to come begin to come out of this loop? What is the functional relationship with all these things and emotions? Nothing wrong with being sad, but feeling sadness and feeling it, not <laughs> outbursting it. 
feeling frustrated and understanding where it's coming frustration because you are frustrated because you feel helpless, you feel powerless, how to close the gap. Feeling normal and strong without any of these stimulants, that's the normal functional relationship, like normal living can be. We need to go back or we need to go forward to what is the new normal, not new normal, don't go there, that's a crazy. Um, expression to use in these times, but being in normal, being functional, that's where we need to go. Because our bodies are normally designed to have a lot of energy. So where is this energy being depleted? Why are we feeling so energy less, powerless? We are in anxiety. You are as an athlete, unable to focus. You cannot finish tasks. You are addicted. You are just a Buying your destruction, destructive habits. You are confused. You feel frustrated. You feel ashamed. You are lost in this triggered loop of ego, emotions, failure, and guilt. And what do you do then? You conclude something. Your ego conclusion is something is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with you. You just do not know that using PlayStation, going to a training and going home to have a PlayStation, going to a training, that's not life. Being on online social media all the time, that's not life. Put away these devices. Because solution is to have a healthy, functional relationship with yourself and consequently with things that you use, the stimulants that are available. Having a functional relationship, it means that you don't drink five coffees in a day. Maybe you drink one coffee in five days. That's a functional relationship. Having a functional relationship with a cell phone, it's not to be on, on it the whole time, checking the likes and the notifications. No, maybe one time per day, you set aside 30 minutes that you check the thing and then you let it go. Then you read a book. Natural dopamine levels are coming from nature and meaningful projects. Resting, you're not resting if you're playing PlayStation all the time, all the day. That's not rest if you're playing Fortnite all the time. That's too much. It's okay to have a functional relationship, but now you check what is a healthy, functional relationship. Let's go into the solution. What is the solution? Remove the destructive dopamine sources. If need be, take out Netflix, take out the TV, take out the computer. Take out this, put it in a, in a lock, lock it, that you cannot unlock it for the next five hours, if that's an option, if you don't need to be all the time available as a job. But you're an athlete. You don't need to be all the time available online. Next thing, replenish nutrients. How many times you eat something because of you want a dopamine fix? All the snacks, sugar, salty snacks, that's all dopamine stimulant. You know what it means, coffee? You drink coffee, you think you have more energy. No. When you drink coffee, your body is blocked in sensing that you're tired. That's it. You are tired. You drink coffee, you think you have more energy. No. It's just overlapping, over covering that you're tired. Sometimes in order when you're tired, you go take a nap, you meditate, you breathe, you go on a walk. So we need to replenish nutrients, food, water. Say thank you when you drink. Love, hugs, socialize, no social distance, socialize. Hormones of love, of high energy. We need to replenish those things. That's the solution. Optimizing lifestyle. It means, we'll check what it means. Environment and habits will go into the rituals. Integrating deliberate dopamine practices. Rituals that you already have. You wake up, that's a ritual if you touch the phone. It's a dopamine spike. You need to cut it away. Cut it loose. No, read a book in the morning. When you will do all these solutions, remove the unnatural dopamine sources, destructive ones, remove them. When you will replenish nutrients, when you will optimize lifestyle, your environment, habits, rituals, when you will begin to integrate I'll go into what is natural dopamine practice. When you will begin to do that, all the receptor sites, all the parking spots will down-regulate. You will not have a lot of parking spots, 
like now, we have a lot of shopping malls all over the world that are empty because it's social distance, because it's closed. No cinema is open. A lot of parking spots, they begin to downregulate. Parking spots are not used anymore because nobody's going there. The same way when you begin to transform your behavior, you begin to downregulate. The body will downregulate itself. It's called the withdrawal symptoms. When you are addicted to something, you stop using it, you have a <laughs> anxiety withdrawal symptom, it's awkward, it's uncomfortable, stick to it, stay to it, have a body, have a body that encourages you, that helps you, and you don't go back, you don't go back, you stay and it down regulates, and then you're like, one day you're like, oh, I don't need it anymore, I don't need the coffee, I don't need the bread, I don't need that, I don't need to watch Netflix, because it down regulated. One more time before we go into natural dopamine practices. Unnatural ones like pornography, like Netflix, like food, some foods, literal sugar and things are unnatural because they give you too much at once, too many choices. So stop doing that. Stop watching porn. Stop. I can help you. Stop. Natural dopamine practices. Nature hikes. Go on a walk, get a pet. Walk, run. What you're already doing, but do it because you want to be alive, because you understand what it means to be rejuvenated. You want to be young. Dancing, painting, singing, things that fulfill your soul. They are not as high, easy, natural, high, unnatural spikes you get smaller amounts, smaller dosage of dopamine, but are more natural and more consistent when you paint. It takes a while to paint something. It's not just turn on the TV and Netflix and you get a high dopamine fix. While you're painting, you need to paint for an hour. Moving yourself, reading books, breathing through your nose, doing creative projects, having fun. Remember when you had fun without this shit, without the apps, playing normal games, not video games, small wins, checkpoint, checkpoint, small wins, stretching, doing the AEQ, ask me what is AEQ exercises, somatic exercises, getting a massage, giving a massage, tidying things up, cleaning your space. That's also a dopamine fix, a very natural, consistent one. Taking cold showers, ice baths, love, making love. That's the natural thing that you want to have. That is where you want to go. Now you need to understand, we have a diagnostic and a tonic version. A diagnostic version is that sometimes you can take that herb, that walk, that music, only when you need it, when you feel, for instance, you can listen to certain gamma brain waves when you need it. You cannot listen to every day because if you listen to every day, your ability to get the effect will diminish. So you cannot eat some food, some supplements every day because you'll destroy your body. And then we have a tonic version. A tonic version you can take all the time, like water or some herbs, okay? So it's the same with certain movements, but what I've mentioned, all the natural hikes and, and uh, raining and dancing in the rain as well, painting, enjoying and being in contact and socializing, that's tonic. You can do that every day. Breath working, connecting, intuition and all the things, okay? Then we have certain movements that you like to do in the morning or like this, or your hands in your waist, ladies, that gives you, or this, or spinal wave. Those are like certain gamma, small alignment, symbolic movements that activate your dopamine as well. Natural ways, natural levels. Okay? Then we have every day, evening before bed, sleeping, waking up. Every day. Very important ritual before you go to bed, sleeping and waking up. These two rituals, evening and morning, journaling, winding down in the, in the evening, 
reconnecting, re, uh, retrospecting what was going on the last day, meditating, winding down, massage, hot bed, candles, slowing down. And in the morning, getting in tune for the new day, visualizing, enhancing, connecting, writing, tasks. Do not touch your cell phone. No way, stop. That's the best rituals that you can have evening and morning. And in the middle of the day, you eat, you mingle. You check what's happening, the tasks and the assignments. And your training, visualizing, okay? Make it count. We also have four steps of winning. Let me know. I can send you to them over. It's by Nathaniel Salas. He developed all this dopamine reboot, reboot rituals, map of winning. First, identify your pattern. Are you putting something off? Are you procrastinating? Are you suiting yourself because you're com com um, compensating? Are you, wanna st st are you stimulating yourself? Are you distracting yourself? Are you in a downward spiral because you're already emotionally dysregulated? Identify the pattern. Inhale first and then observe. Why am I doing this? Do I want to soothe myself? Do I want to put away, distract myself? Do I want to stimulate myself because I'm understimulated? Why do I want to do this now? Then own your state. Is it scarcity that you lack something? that you lose something, if you don't play the games, PlayStation now, if you don't watch that show, is it that you're overwhelmed and that you're like uh, overwhelmed and too much of too much of in too little time? Or is it like you're depressed? Bleh. Identify the pattern, own your state. Owning your state, it means, why am I feeling this? I don't need to feel this. I don't. I will not lose anything. I'm not overwhelmed. I will do what I'm capable to do now. And I don't need to be depressed. I'm a creative being. I have energy. Stop giving energy and attention to the shit. Be positive. The next step, third one, is the pattern interrupt. Call a friend. Call your buddy. Call your coach. Call your accountability partner. Go into nature, move, use that gamma gate, breathe. The next one I like, brain dump. Put everything on the paper, all of your thoughts. Just write, just write. Don't interfere, just write. Shower, cold, ice, warm, hot shower, doesn't matter. Dance. Move in the feeling. As an athlete, you dance, but stop living a double life. You train and then you rest on the PlayStation. No more of that shit. And the next, the last step is deliberate action. 30 minute focus. Stop doing this shit. Downregulate the, the receptor sites. Read a book for 30 minutes. Dance for 30 minutes. Paint for 30 minutes. Talk to someone for 30 minutes. Tidy up for 30 minutes. Clean your space. Clo close the loops. Close the vicious cycle. Why are you in a pattern? Work out. Even if you've already come from training, you can still stretch or do some breathing exercise or do some yoga exercise. As I mentioned, read, journal, make plans. Important is that you make plans, that you make plans and you go forward because that's what it connects you to the vision. That's what connects you to a new site of living. We finished. Thank you very much for listening, watching this podcast, that you've gotten all what you need, that you've discovered how it's amazing that you are in the, lo in the lost loophole of dopamine and how it's easy to come out of it. You need a partner, call me up. I can hook you with one, up with one or I can train you. I can coach you that you'll stop being addicted to the dopamine negative cycles. We, we can and we will break through this. And we already did. You already listening, you got more clarity. Thank you very much. Please comment, share this video with all of your friends, acquaintances and athletes. And let's do this and like the video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in. Follow me on Being The Genuine Athlete Instagram and Facebook page. 
share, like and comment and be genuine all the way.